I'm Cooper Wingert. I'm a history major at Dickinson College, and this is part of a series on Dickinson's ties to slavery. We're standing here at Fort Hunter, which is a plantation that first came into the ownership of the McAllister family sometime in the late 1780s. Archibald McAllister moved here with an enslaved population of varying between six to ten people during the late 18th century. His son, John Carson McAllister, also lives here. He's a militia captain, and his son, Richard McAllister, later becomes the Fugitive Slave Commissioner for Harrisburg.